Remember last time? We've met this stunning, golden, delicious apple-shaped dessert. And also the cherry, right? And today is gonna be the pear. Here is the Bartlett, my favorite. Juicy, tasty, good just as is. Next to it, Bosque, delicious too. Then the Comice, Anjou, they are all good. Today I'm going to use two kinds. Of course, the Bartlett and the Bosque. And see what happens. First, I'm gonna make the pear jelly. Heat up pear juice. Mix up the sugar and agar agar and throw it in there. Bring to a boil, add lemon juice and chill completely. By the way, agar is a plant-based alternative to gelatine, a type of seaweed that has great thickening and gelling properties. Meanwhile, I am going to peel and cube my Williams and Bosque pears. You don't want to mix them up though, and you'll see why. Next, saute bosque pears cubes only with a drizzle of olive oil and a couple of tablespoons of powdered sugar for about 4 minutes on high heat. You want them to be just seized. Then mix them with the Williams pear cubes, add lemon juice and the crushed juniper berries. Here is the pear jelly we've made just a few hours ago using the pear juice and agar agar. I'm going to smooth it out and mix with my pear mixture. As we did for the apple and cherry shaped dessert, you want to follow the same principle. The insert is there to balance things out. It is indeed a subtle mix of different textures about the fruit itself and nothing else. Once completely frozen, unmold and seal them by two, forming a 1 ounce 30 gram insert and freeze immediately. Next, the pear mousse or ganache monté. Peel and core William pears and puree. Meanwhile, melt cocoa butter almost to the boiling point and mix in the white chocolate. Bring pear puree to a boil, remove from the stove, then add juniper berries and the cocoa butter white chocolate mixture and blend well. Then I'm gonna add two kinds of thickener, gelatine and xanthan gum. Then I'm gonna pour in the heavy cream and the mascarpone. Then I'm gonna give a good emulsion. Then I'm gonna place this magical mixture in a refrigerator overnight. And by the way, this recipe is inspired by Cédric Grolet, a very talented pastry chef from Paris. So my ganache is completely chilled. That's what you want. And I'm going to whip it until fluffy. That's exactly what you want. <laughs> I'm going to fill my silicone mold halfway through. And at the last minute, Grab your pear jelly insert from the freezer and place in the center of each cavity, pushing it down a bit. Then fill up each mold completely, making sure that though there is no gaps left between the insert and the edges. Next, I'm going to put this in the freezer until it has completely hardened. So it's gonna take at least six hours, but the longer, the better. Next, glazes. The first is going to be the outer crusty shell and the second, the glossy finish. The first one is a cocoa butter based glaze, a one for one mixture of melted cocoa butter and chocolate. The second one is the one we use for the golden delicious apple shaped dessert. Cook sugar, corn syrup and water to 218 degrees Fahrenheit, 1 out of 3 Celsius. Then mix in the gelatin, condensed milk, vanilla and the chocolate. Pass through a fine sieve and chill overnight. And of course, food coloring can be added according to the theme. 
and mold this so far apple looking cake. Now to turn them into pears, flip them and pipe out a little head using the pear mousse leftover. And guess what? Freeze again. Next, modeling station. Let's do it. You just want to smooth and carve each cake into a pearl looking shape. But don't worry, real fruits are never perfect. As soon as it's done, insert a bamboo skewer and freeze. Now the fun, immerse each frozen pear cake into the 113 degrees Fahrenheit, 45 degrees Celsius white chocolate coating glaze. Rotate it to set faster. It takes a few seconds. Then dip into the 88 degrees Fahrenheit, 32 degrees Celsius yellow mirror glaze. Continue until done. To get even closer to the real life, airbrushing this kind of dessert, it's the gig. Here I am spraying water base, orange and red food coloring. Hope guys you have enjoyed this Williams pear shaped dessert episode. To get the full recipe, well, you know the address, right? BrunosKitchen.net. Please subscribe, like me on Facebook, and follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Pinterest. It's incredible, stunning, beautiful, amazing, tasty, exceptional, unusual, unexpected, above all, delicious. Wow.